this season. While for Hide Kamis, well known around the coaching in the Air Marine Cup, he continues in goal for the Tigers. It is a back four. Ahmad Shahir, a left back. Nurullah Hussein and Fadli Kamis comes into the middle. Boy, is it good to have the SPL back with us after the international break and we have a mid game. And I say mid table, but both these sides have ambition with a good start after the international break with these two sides fancying their chances against their opponents. And just to do our homework here, let's look at the officials for the match. It is against Home United. He misses out through illness, only fit enough for a place on the bench. Both teams going through the season. I remember, so Geylang International in their all rights. And as predicted, Yuki Ichikawa will play in midfield today for the Eagles. Towards Basikalsa. Rebatch to Daniel Go. Here's a big opportunity. Massive opportunity for Daniel Go. Off the bar again. Still alive for Krychek. Well defended by Jufri Taha. And somehow it is still. But so easy for Balista Kausa to just cut through the Geelang International defense. Daniel Go, first chance, saved by Zaino, second chance off the bar. And they've done everything but score. Daniel Go through the legs of Anders, taking on all covers. It's an own goal! And Balista Kausa take the lead, deservedly. The unlucky recipient is Darren Tay. From one Darren to the other, one Daniel to Darren. And they deserve this, Ballester Kalsa. And Daniel Go creates with a nutmeg through Anders Applin. And then a beautiful into the area. And he will get a yellow card for his celebration as well, Daniel Go, for kicking the advertising boardings. A little harsh on him by referee Momataki. If anything, they need an attacking option. Here's Faris down the left. Can he create something? Nice step over, pass, Fazli. Faris with the cross. Dealt with Chikawa. Nice little turn away from Vrebac. Hazwan is ready to come on. Come back on for Ballester. Spent a good three minutes off the pitch. Sharin Saberin. And the wing backs being Van Huizen and Darren Tay. So they've changed the shape here. Geelang International. What they need to do is change the scoreline. And there's a great ball. Looking for Hazwan Halim! What a goal! What a pass by Christian Krychek. And Hazwan Halim with the cheekiest of lobs. Pass Zaino Gulam. And Belles de Kalsa in control. And such a sucker punch for Geelang International. But what a ball. Let's have a look at the replay. Christian Krychek serving it on a play to Hazwan Halim with the brilliant first touch and finish. Scoring the second goal for Ballastia Kelsa, number seven. Up since coming on at half time from his warm up. And he will be introduced, and I'm sure that is just to show up. Defense of Ballester Kalsa. And here's a chance. Christian Krychek is opening up for him. Krychek. What a goal! An individual effort that has absolutely stunned the Bishan Stadium. And that's game, set, and match. Ballester Kalsa. and seals and caps off a match performance laid off by Hazwan and he had the freedom of Bishan Stadium rolls past Anders Applin as if he wasn't there and strikes a finish past Zaino Gulam into the top corner scoring the third goal for Ballastia and he looks for Samir Alassan defended by Van Huizen 
And Samir's eyes must have a first half proceedings. Hogan United won. As we hear the latest score from the Jalan Besar Stadium. Young Lions 2, Haogang United 1. We are waiting confirmation that it is full time there. But as I said, a tale of two halves. As Geelang International and Benetton Kausa went into the break.